supposed to be able to do that shit. Right. Like the real game world. It's like yeah. blood in, blood out. You feel me? Right. So, uh, man, your man, young Kodak, man. Ooh. So we, we talked about this yesterday. Yeah. Uh, you know, with him um, doing a song with Takashi. Right. Bootsy, everybody just Bootsy got a strong opinion about it. I don't really hear too many niggas voicing their opinion about it, but Bootsy. He feels mm-hmm. strong. He seemed hurt. Yeah. Yeah, so, he, was, he was hurt by it. So boom, he do the song. Now today they pop out like with his verse. And to me, it sounds like a little a little bitch, you feel me? Yeah, I refuse to listen to it. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm not listening to nothing with six nine on it. I'm not giving it no streams, no plays, no, none no. of that shit. But from what I hear, you know, Kodak was going crazy. Like it was kind of like a diss to him or whatever, like kinda. But it was like, you know, I, I this is business. I ain't about to sell a brick with him, you know? Yeah, yeah which yeah. makes sense. That makes sense, but we just write verses, man. Yeah, I don't, but me, I don't, um, I just stand on a certain. You know, Takashi got his own, Kodak got his own fan base, Takashi got his own fan base. Yeah. And I, I, I just fuck with Kodak just off high years. I, I fuck with some of his music, but I'm not no real big Kodak listener. Yeah. Like I'm not going to stop listening to Kodak or nothing like that, you know. Yeah, like, but I'm not going to listen, but I'm. I'm not gonna listen to Gunna. I'm not gonna listen to Six Nine. I'm not gonna give them no streams. Anybody that they collabed with, I took them off my my playlist. <laughs> and they had some pretty cool songs, man. But I took them off. I ain't fucking with that. I it's just I stand on that shit, man. I just stand on on that on that on them uh them codes, man. Hey, so do you think uh do you think niggas gonna stop fucking with Kodak? Cause I see motherfuckers on Bootsy shit like, uh, you know he taking them perks with him along. I mean it seemed like he got a clear mind about what he was doing to me. Yeah, yeah, he got a million cash he got a million cash for that collab. But he know what the first man. Yeah. He knew what he was doing. It's business, really. It's business at the end of the day. It's, it's like, business, but you're doing business with the wrong motherfuckers, man. But we all know, damn near everybody in the music industry rats anyway. So you're not doing nothing illegal. You you doing you writing a verse? Like you gonna pass up on a million dollars for talking about you a real nigga? It's a lot of here's a, well me 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 I would. If you I was in that position, I, I pass it up. I pass it up because I'm a hustler. I'm gonna make it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that Niggas motherfucker. Niggas ain't giving no million dollars for no. Not purpose. they ain't gonna buy, but I'm gonna make it. I'm, gonna, I'm I am who I am. Yeah, Fuck that yeah. rat. I am who I am. I'm gonna make the money. I'm gonna go make my money. It might take me uh, six months or a year, but I'm I'm gonna make it. I ain't gonna fuck with him to get it. I ain't doing that. I mean, it sound good. Million it cash. Good. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it for a million cash. Not, not if I got a name and I'm in the position he in. I go make right, it. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You yeah, catch me right. right now. You catch me right now. Shit, I might do a song with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, you know, if I was in the position that Kodak and I had to follow in the name. Yeah, I ain't doing yeah, it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know no nigga right now in regular life that would do a verse for Takashi for a million dollars. Niggas talk that shit. Yeah, but right now I do it. In, in the regular life, nigga living right now, nigga a, a, a million cash mm, to write yeah. sixteen bars for a nigga, and you just live a regular life. Shit. Yeah, it hit different. And everybody, everybody in your family life, you can change with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, for uh, off for of sixteen. All up sixteen bars. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'm, I was really talking about 
that Kodak status of his life because he got money already. So right. was the million worth the flat? All the, the niggas who finna not fuck with you and you gotta explain yourself to niggas and go through all that shit. Tell you the truth, I don't think he even gonna catch no flag, man. Nicki Minaj didn't catch flag. That's a girl, though. Shit. She What's the girl. bitch? She in the game. You right. She supposed to stick to the real nigga code. Yeah. Because she's fucking young money and, and murder. Yeah. She know. She know. You know. So... You know, they fucking with her. Like, some followings you can't fuck with, no matter what. Her following is so strong, they will never give up on Nikki. You feel me? Uh, Kodak, the, the I, don't think, I don't think Kodak's is as strong as Nikki's, but I don't. Like I say, I'm going to still listen to him. I'm going to still, you know, follow him and listen to him because I ain't tripping, you know, like that. It was his business decision. But I ain't gonna shun him, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stop listening to him. I stopped listening to Gunner. I've never really li- I've never really listened to Kazi Six Nine ever. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. tell you one of his songs. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep it keep it that way on, on that tip. I ain't fucking with it. But yeah. Yeah, man, I'm sitting here commenting with a nigga on my Instagram. Uh, I uh, I mean, not with a nigga. Just my man and shit. He trying to fuck with me on some gang bang shit. <laughs> <laughs> with, with that little J shit, he talking about the GDs in the door. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, I'm, I'm like, come on, bro. He talking about, no, nah, on BD. See, a nigga like me... I'm a real nigga with this shit. I ain't from Chicago, so I ain't got shit to do with none of that GDBD war that they, they got going on. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, GDs and BDs don't post to be people for real. You feel me? Right. And it, it's, it's by law. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas broke the rules in Chicago. You feel me? Well, mm-hmm. However they do their thing, but where we, where we come from. It's the from, generation. It's the generation gap, man. Like, we had big homies. And this younger generation didn't really have no big homies, man. Somebody tell them, hey, 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 hey young dog, come, hey, 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 young dog, come here, let me highlight you. They ain't yeah. had that. Yeah. So they wild. Then you know what? It's just a lot to that shit, man. And I don't know if we even got the time for me to break the science down to you. But it started, yeah. what that shit started with, I'm, I'm going to break down the demographics of Chicago, man. And this is just off off the dome. Okay, so from what I get from it. 